Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book haul. These are all the books that I got in February. Uh, many of them are gifts, and then the other half of them are books that I got for little or nothing except for one, and I'm actually kind of mad about it, but we'll get to that in a second. Um, so right off the bat, I found The Phantom Tollbooth. Is, well, first off, it's a book that I first read when I was in, I'm not sure, I want to say it's junior high school, maybe it was even as far back as elementary school, or grammar school, whatever you guys call it, uh, K through 6 is what I did, um, and I remember when my teacher mentioned we were going to be watching the movie and reading the book, I was like, the Phantom Toll Booth, that seems silly, uh, but then we actually saw the movie, for some odd reason we watched the movie before we read the book. Um, and then we discussed the differences. This is, this quickly became one of my favorite, favorite books, and I want to reread it now that I'm an adult and see, um, if it still retains its, you know, I, if I still, if I still enjoy the book. So I got this one. This is only a quarter. Actually, no, it wasn't. This is the very last one before they went back to quarter books at the library. Uh, this was part of my fill up a bag for a dollar, but I had gotten so many books that the next, I think, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I only got six in a bag for a dollar. Basically, I saved 50 cents, but, I mean, <laughs> this book, brand new, was eight ninety nine at, uh, what, Books Million? Yeah. So, Phantom Tollbooth. Any of you guys read this? This is amazing, if you haven't read it. Um, I think, this and this, I, I'm, I'm hoping I'm remembering this, and this isn't like, you know, what is that, Mandela effect? But is this the one with the doldrums? I don't know. Um, let me know down there in the comments. But, and then I got this one, I think I'm actually going to read this one, uh, because I've never actually read any of her stuff, my buddy Cody doesn't like her work, but keeps on buying her books, actually I think he liked the most recent one, but this is, uh, The Woman in Cabin 10 by Ruth Ware, so I got that one, uh, it was part of the library doohickey, and then we have The Ballad of Trenchmouth Taggart, which just sounds amazing. Um, it's also by, uh, published by Echo, and I've liked just about everything Echo has done. I think they did uh, Ketnis's first two books. I know they're Atria Publishing also, but I think that's a subprint or subsidiary, whatever, of Atria or Simon & Schuster, something like that. Next up is one that I actually have. It's back here uh, behind the good mythical mug. Oh, tea cakes, don't fall, please. Uh, Salvage the Bones by Jesmyn Ward, but I got an alternate copy. Mm -hmm. Um, I love alternate copies, uh, I love, no, actually I haven't read this one, um, I've read Where the Line Bleeds and, uh, Sing Unburied Sing, I have yet to read, uh, Men We Reaped and Salvage the Bones, but I had to pick this up because it was a quarter, well, less than a quarter, I don't know, y'all do the math down there, I got six books for a dollar, um, and then... Prime Evil, which I have been looking for forever. It's got a Stephen King story. I have no idea what story it is. It's one of the most talked about, one of the most uh, famous short story collections because it's got King, it's got Barker, um, it's got Straub, it's got Ligotti, uh, which will probably be my first Thomas Ligotti. It's got Ramsey Campbell, Whitley Stryber, good gravy. Uh, another one that's pretty famous is uh, it's the Borderlands 6, I think it is. It has King's stationary bike. And I think Whitley Stryber, he wrote a uh, story in there about the, the pieces of the face of God. And that story has stuck with me forever. Anyways, next up we have Sliver by Ira Levin. Yeah, and I'm looking back here, it's got a blurb from Stephen King. Stephen King, St Stephen King blurbed everything, whether he liked it or not. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure, because he's, he's blurbed some pretty bad books. Um, in fact, I don't, anytime there's a blurb, uh, he, he, he's kind of like Paul Tremblay. Anytime that... Uh, King or Paul Tremblay blurb something, I am staying away because I know it's going to be hot garbage. Um, next up, we have the book that I am upset about, which is we're buddy reading right now, House of Leaves by Mark Z. Danielewski. And I'm not mad uh, about the book. The book's fine. Pages are already falling out of this thing. I didn't buy it new. I did buy it used. 
But, uh, and there's another page that I forgot that's in my room, but two pages so far. So this little doohickey, the first page has fallen out, and then another page in the narrative has fallen out. So I'm very upset with the, uh, with the seller. I'm, of course, not going to send it back uh, because we're, we're reading it right now, and I don't want to wait all that time. But, yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's a dick move. That's, that's complete dick move. Anyways, moving on. Now on to the gifts. Um, I had to go back. I got so many gifts this month. I had to go back and check who all sent me what. Uh, the only one that I could uh, remember are the two most recent ones. That was Wayne. And I'm telling on myself. I don't know why I'm telling on myself. You know how I just honesty. I mean, <laughs> that's all it is. Um, is the one from Anthony and the one from my buddy Wayne. But earlier in the month, because I have a terrible memory, uh, my friend JB sent me Tribesman which I am going to be getting to in March because it's only like a hundred pages. And then he also sent me Colson Whitehead's Underground Railroad, which I loved and I wanted a hardcover of, and I buddy read with him, um, J.B. Taylor, and my our good friend Jen Bernardini. Um, and I loved the book, and J.B. was nice enough to send it to me. Um, I think he liked it as well. Jen didn't care for it as much because she thought it was supposed to be historical fiction, but it's an alternate history kind of deal. Um, so she went in not knowing, and that kind of, you know, it kind of sullied her uh, experience. You know, you know how it goes. But next, my buddy Richard Darris sent me The Black Tides of Heaven. Yeah, by, <laughs> by Ji Yang. I mean, this is Ji Yang. Ji, Ji Yang. Ji Yang, yes. Um, this cover's amazing. By the way, please focus. 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 Did it focus? I hope so. I can't see. Um, and then, now we're getting to the last three books. Uh, my buddy Wayne Fenlin sent me West Lake Soul by Rio Ewers. Rowers, Yowers, Rio Roses. Yes. Um, Rio Yowers. Um, this dude... Uh, I, this dude takes the funniest pictures. He's sitting there, he's almost like duck face. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but he's like... <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> it's... <laughs> now I'm tickled. I'm sorry. Okay, let me calm down. Let me calm down. But dude... <laughs> Dude certainly looks like, uh, what is it, Blue Steel, uh, Zoolander. That's what he looks like in his pictures. So, I mean, <laughs> it's just a funny pose, is all I'm saying. Next up, and I still haven't got to the sticker video. I apologize, everybody. I've been super, super busy. Joe Hill's NOS 4A2 or Nosferatu, the UK edition. I'm still stoked about this. This is amazing. It is an old library copy, but I am going to get this Joker cleaned up. And wonderfully enough, the... Uh, the UK uh, libraries look like they use just regular old um, scotch tape instead of that impervious titanium tape that American libraries use. But yeah, I'm su super excited. In fact, I'll probably end up reading this one um, because it's, al it's already been well read. Um, I'll probably end up reading this one when I do my reread pretty soon. And finally, last but certainly not least, I literally tried to put these in order that they came um so it's not like i appreciate anything more than anything else but on writing the first edition first scribner edition of on writing the u.s version been looking for for it forever my buddy anthony uh from boise idaho right sent me this um and i super appreciate it uh, like I said, I've been looking for this forever, and it's one of my favorite books of all time. It was very influential in my own work, and I'm, I, I thank you for sending it, Anthony. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been another book haul video. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!